Chef Buck here, and today we're going to brew up a cup of coffee using a paperless coffee filter. This is a Cafe Lissimo. The wonder of traveling around and going to different kitchens, different places, different locales is I get to use all kinds of different kitchen contraptions, and most of them suck, and I never say anything about them, but the ones I like I am going to say something about. And I really like this. I really like pour over coffee. We used to make pour over coffee in Seattle all the time. I would just take like a food grade funnel just like a funnel that you would use for funneling anything. And then I put a coffee filter in there and make a pour over coffee. And that was good. You don't have to have a fancy contraption for that, but I really like this. And it's very durable and you don't need these. Coffee's easy to make, but you just gotta have a system. I like the French press, I like the mocha pot, blah, blah, blah. There's all different kinds of things, but this is very easy to travel with. The nice thing about this is it's like a, like a double filter. Filter, but there's like a finer mesh filter inside. So I read some stuff online, people talking about it getting clogged. I don't know how long these folks have had this here. We've been using this here for a couple of weeks, almost two weeks. I've been using this a lot. And I haven't had any issues with it, but I don't know. Would I have issues with it after a couple of months? Do you have one of these? Do you have issues with it? You know, you can uh, complain about that down in the comments. I haven't had any issues with it. Now, we do have a clear cup, boom, and you can pour water in it and you can see how far along you are in the coffee making process. Hold on there for a moment. Good Lord. Let's theorize that I was using this cup and I put this on here and I was pouring water in here to make my coffee. I have no idea. You Unless you am. measure it beforehand. Yeah. Listen, don't, cut, don't throw your science at me. I'm just saying that if you have a clear cup, you can see exactly where you're at in the coffee making process. So are you going to get a couple of clear cups? No, I'm probably your kids? not. I'm probably not going to travel around with this here. <laughs> but if you're not traveling around, if you just have this at home and you get one of these, a clear coffee cup is a nice idea. Boom, you put this on here. You don't have to put a filter. Whatever kind of coffee you want. Great cup of coffee, you want to get beans and grind it, blah, blah, blah. But we don't have a grinder here. I'm not traveling with a grinder. I'm using this here. Look at that. Huge, ginormous spoonful of coffee. Boom. Boom. This is a Cafe Lissimo. I looked it up on Amazon. It's like 17 bucks, 16 or 17 bucks. But there's a number of them that seem very similar. And they're all like between 12 and $18. I'll put a link to this one down below. See that water boiling? Look at that bubbling away. Boom. I'm going to stop the cooking process. <laughs> cooking and let that process. Water, I'm going to stop the boiling process. Let this water cool down for a minute. You know, because you don't want to pour boiling hot water on your coffee. You want it to be hot, but you don't want it to be boiling hot. Cool it now. So I let's uh, cool it we'll just now. relax. Beep, beep, beep. So now, to do our pour over, you just want to pour your coffee over your grounds. Just get it started. Boom, boom, boom. You just want to pour a little bit in there and let it bloom. You know? Really? Is that a thing? And this is finely ground. You know, is that going to clog, is that going to clog the filter more likely? I don't know. But in the time that we've been using it, I haven't had any clogging issues. Boom, boom, boom. Fill it up a little bit with coffee. Not all the way. You know, when I used to do the pour over coffees uh, with my little uh, funnel system and the thing, it was a lot slower. So I'm very happy with the speed of this pour over coffee. But I never fill it all the way up to the top. Are you looking at how much you're putting big... in versus how much the cup is? Yeah, 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 of course I am. That's, that's the beauty of the clear cup. Because I can see exactly where it is. And I think I'm almost there. Because I got to have a little room for cream. Because when I was like uh, seven or eight years old, and I first started drinking coffee with my grandpa, and it was mostly milk with a little bit of coffee in it. Aww. And I call it grandpa coffee. And I still drink grandpa coffee. Maybe a dibble dabble dish more in there. I'll get this off of here, and we'll set this aside. And I'm gonna put it on a cup so it catches any uh, residual stuff on there. Ah, super tasty, super hot. Didn't take a lot of time. Sometimes when you're doing a pour over, and it doesn't flow through very quickly, then by the time your uh, coffee is made, it's too cool to drink. But this is gonna be the right temperature. 
We like strong coffee. Ah, uh, if you go out and you get a cup of coffee and it's bitter and you don't enjoy it, you know, you think, ah, coffee sucks, but you can make a great cup of coffee at home. Here, come here, I got another drawback though. You see this here? This is kind of a mess to clean up. And you can compost this, put it in the garbage, whatever you want to do with it. You're just not going to be able to uh, take it, turn it over, and beat on it, and it's all going to come out. You're going to have to, to clean it out a little bit with a spoon that I find, especially to get it out of the bottom. Cleaning something, is that a drawback? That's, I mean, you got to do that. You got to take care of stuff. It's just a consideration. It doesn't have you to know? be a drawback. But you, you're not going to be able to ignore it. You're not going to be able to just get this coffee filter and not clean it and expect it to work. I think you've had a bit of coffee. I have, <laughs> because we're shooting this in the afternoon. And I, I had two cups of coffee this morning. I'll have a link down below, an affiliate link, so that I can make the big bucks. Follow my link over there and you can check out some different kinds of, of filters. Because I, I, saw, I saw a number of them over there. They kind of look really super duper similar to each other. So you can find one that's maybe a little bit better priced. But this Cafe Lissimo one is the one that we're using. And it's the one I like. Do you want to add anything, Camera Girl? Where's my cup of coffee? Mmm, it's good coffee. We it's actually off. had coffee this morning and cake. Why are you telling all our secrets? That's no secret. Anybody that knows, watches our channel or knows anything about anything knows that we have cake for breakfast too often. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it. Uh, we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.